be getting ready for the show? Ew! Come on, this is a beauty pageant! You nasty. Entertainment news. Justin Bieber is going bald. And now on to weather. Shut up! Hello? Oh my god, I totally just heard Beyonce lost her voice. for the show. Come on, we gotta go get ready. That was a crazy nightmare. Okay, come on, tell me about it on our way to the stage. Come on. Let's go to the show. Oh. On behalf of the Miss Universe organization, a joint venture between NBC Universal and Donald J. Trump, live from the Atlantis Paradise Resort in the Bahamas, the 2011 Miss Teen USA. It's the 2011 Miss Teen USA. Honolulu, Hawaii. Leo 
Hollingsworth, 18, Preston, Idaho. Paige Higgerson, 19, Cutler, Illinois. Jessica Book, 16, Bedford, Indiana. Michelle Orr, 19, Hampton, Iowa. Taylor Clark, 17, Topeka, Kansas. Stephanie Jones, 17, Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Elizabeth Heinen, 16, Eunice, Louisiana. Alexis McLean, 15, Portland, Maine. Kirsten Nicholson, 18, Sykesville, Maryland. Kay Tatro, 18, South Badley, Massachusetts. Taylor Sherman, 17, Dearborn Heights, Michigan. Hannah Corbett, 17, Excelsior, Minnesota. Sarah J. Bobo, 19, Corinth, Mississippi. Sydney Sotomayor, 17, St. Louis, Missouri. Savon Doxy, 18, Frenchtown, Montana. Madison Novak, 17, Lincoln, Nebraska. Ashley Brown, 17, Las Vegas, Nevada. Annie Reed, 17, Sandwich, New Hampshire. Savannah Schechter, 17, Bar Hills, New Jersey. Alexa Castle, 18, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Lisa Gillard, 19, Brooklyn, New York. Vanessa McClellan, 19, Fayetteville, North Carolina. Audramari, 17, Fargo, North Dakota. Morgan Smeagol, 16, Avon, Ohio. Alma Sandoval, 18, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Kayla Roush, 18, Sio, Oregon. Madison Longstreth, 16, Spring Grove, Pennsylvania. Lindsay Butchie, 18, Situate, Rhode Island. Keila Child, 17, Charleston, South Carolina. Lexi Shank, 17, Irene, South Dakota. Kaylin White, 18, Nashville, Tennessee. Danielle Doty, 18, Harlingen, Texas. Mikkel Knight, 17, Salt Lake City, Utah. Bridget Martin, 14, Stowe, Vermont. Susie Evans, 17, Pocosin, Virginia. Cheyenne Vantine, 17, Tri-Cities, Washington. Susan King, 16, Fairmont, West Virginia. Victoria Johnston, 19, Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Ashley Goldman, 17, Gillette, Wyoming. Welcome to the stage. He's the host and creator of Chet Buchanan and the Morning Zoo, the top rated show on 98.5 KLUC in Las Vegas, Chet Buchanan. She was Miss Teen USA in 2005 and currently works as a sports reporter for Fox 8 News in Cleveland, Allie LaForce. Yes! 
Yes! You guys ready? Welcome everybody, thank you for the warm welcoming, but let's give it up one more time for this incredible group of 51 contestants, the true stars of the show tonight. Who's going to be the Miss at the next Miss Teen USA? Who's going to be the next one? I like this group. We got a rowdy crowd tonight, I, like I think. I like this group. We're going to have some fun tonight. And it's been a lot of fun this week, but now we're kind of getting down to it. Allie and I are so excited to be here at Atlantis Paradise Island, Bahamas. How's Atlantis treating you? It's great here, isn't it? Once again, these young ladies have been working really hard all week long, and now the moment of truth is at hand. It is the moment of truth, and that's why we're going to get right down to business. Just a minor cut from 51 to 15. We hate to do it, but we have to. Yep, we do. 15 ladies will be one step closer to fulfilling their dream. And we're going to do it right away, too. Our esteemed panel of judges right over here has uh, already viewed these ladies last night at our preliminary competition. Their votes, along with members of the Miss Universe organization, will be the ones determining who will make this first cut. And if you have been around the pageant scene at all, you know this next guy. He's a very handsome fella. Tall Goldhammer, you have those results for us so we can get down to business? This is Tall's big moment. This is his big moment. Make some noise for Tall Gold, Goldhammer. We got the top 15 right here in our hands. You ready to find out? Ladies and gentlemen, here is this year's top 15 semi-finalists in random order. First up, Texas. Come on down, North Dakota. Come on and join us, Indiana! Welcome, Minnesota! The next name we're calling is Colorado! Join the line, West Virginia. Moving forward with South Carolina. You were chosen, Kansas. It's your turn, Georgia! This next moment belongs to Maryland! You can finally take a breath and relax. Pennsylvania! Up next is California! Three spots left. Filling one of those spots, it's Missouri! Are you ready? Maine. And rounding out the top 15, New Jersey. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your top 15. Yeah. 
One of these ladies standing right here on the stage right now will be your next Miss Teen USA. I love the energy in here, so let's learn a little bit more about them as they hit the runway one by one. We'll start with Texas. Miss Texas started a coat and blanket drive after noticing a cold man sitting outside a shelter. She says that volunteering makes her feel amazing. With a heart of gold, it's Texas. Make some noise for North Dakota. North Dakota is a three-sport athlete and an aspiring model. She's an honor roll student and once traveled to New Orleans to help clean up after a hurricane. Once again, a warm welcome to North Dakota. Indiana is a member of a church youth group and the 4-H Horse and Pony Club. She's a working model and was even on a nationally televised commercial. Give it up for Indiana. Next up, it's Minnesota. Minnesota is a member of the National Honor Society. She's a certified scuba diver and enjoys playing volleyball in her spare time. Put your hands together for Minnesota. All right, Colorado, your turn. Colorado is proud of the work she's done with the Make-A-Wish Foundation. She helped raise over $15,000 last year and hopes to raise even more in the future. Please welcome Colorado. Look who else is in the top 15, West Virginia. West Virginia is a star midfielder on her high school soccer team. She enjoys mentoring young girls and is humbled by the way they look to her for advice and strength. Ladies and gentlemen, West Virginia. Okay, Miss South Carolina. South Carolina is passionate about acting and has even appeared in three commercials. When she's not on camera, she's helping others as a supporter of Toys for Tots and Relay for Life. Please welcome South Carolina. How about Kansas? Kansas has won over 50 awards, five zero awards, 50 awards and scholarships over the last six years. She mentors children across the country, helping inspire them and teaching them how to dance. One more time for Kansas. Miss Georgia Teen is very ambitious. She hosts a cable television show, was a nationally ranked hurdler in the Junior Olympics, and even started her own community service club at her school. Doing it all, it's Georgia. Up next, it's Maryland. Maryland says that she loves children. Of all the community service she's done, she says the most rewarding has been mentoring elementary school students. Give it up one more time for Maryland. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania enjoys volunteering at her local retirement village. She assists with special activities, and she says she's developed many close relationships with the residents. Put your hands together for Pennsylvania. Make some noise for California. California was once named the top tap dancer in the United States. She eventually went on to compete in a tournament in Germany where she placed fifth in the world championships. Once again, please welcome California. All right, you're up, Missouri. Missouri enjoys visiting patients at children's and veterans hospitals in her home state. She's very involved in her community and even won the prestigious Hometown Hero Award. Please welcome Missouri. Two more to go. Let's go with Maine. Maine is a dog lover, which is why she volunteers at an animal shelter. She feels competing at Miss Teen USA has helped her grow as a person, and she is so happy for the opportunity. Put your hands together for Maine. And last, but certainly not least, New Jersey. New Jersey is a huge advocate for giving back. She's performed at benefit concerts, volunteers at a local soup kitchen, and donates food and clothing to the Salvation Army. 
Put your hands together for New Jersey. They're running backstage to get ready for swimsuit, but I know they can hear you. Let them know. How about a big round of applause for our top 15? Now, Allie, and I don't know if you heard in the intro, but Miss Teen USA 2005 over here. You know as a former Miss Teen no, USA. Huh? You know, long ago. Nobody remembers. You that. know as a former Miss Teen USA winner, you understand what a huge responsibility this is. It is a huge responsibility, and that's because young teens all around the country look up to you as their role model, and no one has done a better job than last year's winner, Kimmy well, well, Crawford. Well, 2005 is pretty good. <laughs> okay. Pretty good. <laughs> if you go back that far, well, yeah, we'll, we'll compete for it later. But she's just done a spectacular job. And to do it justice, here's a small video of some of the highlights of her year. <laughs> this is not a good way to start the day. Amazing, fabulous, fantastic, fresh, fun, fierce. Anything else I can describe happiness? <laughs> <laughs> if you have the receipt, it is yours. <laughs> the puck to the guy in the white and then he passed it to another guy in the white and then and then something crazy happened nobody scored and I got Jimena a Starbucks gift card for Christmas too but I kept it to myself Where are you <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Teen USA 2010, Cami Crawford. Hey, pal. Hey. A little, stand, a little standing ovation and everything. Pretty nice. And by the way, how many were here last night for the uh, preliminaries? Were you here last night for the... How good was she? How good was Cammie as a co-host? She did a great job. You look great. How are you feeling? Thank you. I, was, I feel good, but I was really nervous last night. I don't know if you could tell. It's my first hosting job. She did great. She did great. We had a good time. Tell everybody or try to explain, and, and we've laughed about this, that um, you didn't want to mess up your makeup. So everybody always puts their hands to their face right. when they're announced, but you kind of went close to your face and then pulled away. What were you thinking right at that moment? Well, when I was crowned um, at Maryland, my mom told me that she couldn't really find any pictures that she really loved because all of my pictures have my hand by my face like this. And so she told me, if you win tonight, do not put your hands on your face. And so in my crowning, you see me go like this, and then I'm like, oh. <laughs> and mom's right here in the front row. In fact, the whole family is right here in the front row. You must be so proud. That's actually, they wanted to go to center stage, and I said, no, they're going to be sitting right here. Let's just come right over in front of them. It's fine. You've also developed a really close relationship with Miss USA 2010, Rima Faki, and Miss Universe, and you say her name so much. She says Miss Universe's name better than anybody else on the, probably even better than your mother. Probably. Okay, say it. Jimena Navarrete Rosete. Uh-huh. I'll butcher it later. You know it's coming, Jimena. You know, do it one more time. Jimena Navarrete Rosete. Ex Jimena Navarrete. What? No. Jimena, I know, I know. We've, we worked on it. We practiced backstage. Allie even says it. Really I have to say it later. Go so ahead, go ahead. here in my head practicing. Yeah. Jimena Navarrete. But, yeah. you, but you guys have has developed such a close relationship. Tell everybody what's that like, what that's like. Oh, we, <laughs> she doesn't want me to look at her, but we are just so close. The best of friends, honestly. And that 
is what makes your year so much better. I know that even the misses can say, you know, girls who competed at Miss USA, when you have a team that you really connect with, it makes everything so much better. It just really does, because you're all going through the same things, and we just, we love each other. She's crying. Stop crying, Jimena. If you cry, then Cammie cries, and then I cry, which is not a good look. Yeah, Rima cries, everybody cries. We can't do that. I know, but I'm going to, that's what I'm going to miss the most. Alabama in the fall. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Miss Team USA 2010. I want to step back so she gets all the glory right here by herself. Cammie Crawford. It has been an absolute pleasure getting to know Cami over the last couple of days. I wish I could have lived with her as well. You two are very lucky girls. All right, so you got to meet the reigning Miss Teen USA, but now the big question is, which lucky young lady will get to wear the crown later this evening? Minnesota. Okay. Yeah, which one is it? Just curious, who is it? Well, I, I can tell you this one thing. It's going to be tough for the judges. It's not up to you. It's not up to you. Hey, all the spirit helps. Yo, of course, no, I love that. I used you know to seem that. to think so when I was competing. I love the yell. So. All right, so let's meet these judges who are going to be making the big decision. Absolutely. First up, her best-selling book, Rock What You've Got, helps guide young ladies through their turbulent teens, encouraging them to love themselves and stay healthy. A warm welcome for Katherine Schwarzenegger. Our next judge is a former MTV executive who helped launch the careers of Mandy Moore and Ashley Simpson. His entertainment company, VPE Talent, specializes in casting hosts and reality TV. Vinny Padestivo. I hit him up last night. He's casting hosts. I hit him up last night, but we're going to talk later. Yeah, we're going to talk later. That's how you network. Next up, she's worked with some of the biggest names in Hollywood as a celebrity skincare specialist, and she's the consulting dermatologist to the Miss Universe organization, Dr. Cheryl Karcher. Next, as president of People's Choice, he oversees the annual award show and the year-round entertainment website, peopleschoice.com. He was chosen as a pop culture expert by the producers of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, Fred Nelson. That's my buddy right there. That's my buddy. Lucky I like you. this guy a lot too. He's worked with some of the biggest names in show business as president and CEO of Coleman Entertainment Group, an entertainment and fashion-based management firm, Mr. B.J. Coleman. This next lovely lady has helped launch new brands into the fashion industry as founder and CEO of Art Zulu Inc. She's designed for major retailers, including Neiman Marcus and Bloomingdale's. Laura Flaw. And she is the Senior Vice President of Special Events and Entertainment for Kersner International. Please welcome Michelle Wiltshire. Atlantis just keeps getting better, and I think you're the reason why. I'm not sure, but I know there's a lot of good people here. Thank you, judges. We're counting on you to choose us a magnificent Miss Teen USA 2011, and we know you will. We kind of introduced this guy a couple of minutes ago, but he really has dreams of being a UFC fighter, and I promised Nick Teplitz, our writer, that I would work a little something up for him. So, ladies and gentlemen, our auditor for the evening from Ernst & Young, put your hands together for Hammer Time, Tall. Goldhammer! The more shows he's involved in, the better the names get, by the way. He loves that. He loves really it. does. He loves it. <laughs> he loves it. Now, before we get started with swimsuit, you guys are ready for swimsuit, right? You guys are ready for swimsuit competition. We would like to say hello really quick to the Miss Teen USA fantasy campers in the audience. These, Yes! I got to speak with them I, earlier this week, and they are the most incredible group of girls. They ask so many questions and are so involved, and if you even heard some of the goals these ladies have for later on in life, they are so ambitious, and good luck. Keep following your dreams. Do you see the puzzled look on my face, though? Um, I want to say this again. Miss Teen USA Fantasy Campers, who are here, where are you? Oh, good. Because right. it says there's only 12. It sounds like 50. <laughs> yes. 
had a great I time. I told you, they are an ambitious group. They've had a great time here at Atlantis learning the ins and outs of what it takes to be a Miss Teen USA contestant, having a good time. So now it's time to get down to business. We are just moments away from the swimsuit competition. Are you ready? Hold the excitement just a little bit longer because first we're going to take a look at what the contestants have been up to this week. Wouldn't you like to know? That there can be some extremely long days of rehearsals, but it's nice to see the Bahamas so accommodating and allowing the girls to get out and just dabble in a little bit of everything they have to offer because there's so much out there. Yeah, and they had a good time. And we're about to get another look at that Cooey Australia swimwear in tonight's swimsuit competition. The judges, by the way, are looking for ladies with confidence, poise, and overall fitness characteristics. Sounds exciting, so let's get started. We begin the Miss Teen USA 2011 swimsuit competition with Texas. North Dakota. Minnesota! Colorado! West Virginia. South 
South Carolina. Kansas. Georgia. Maryland. Pennsylvania. California. Missouri. Maine. And New Jersey. I really just hope they weren't all on the same flight. <laughs> Rowdy. That's a lot of hairspray Rowdy. for one flight. Rowdy flight. Rowdy flight. There they are, everybody, the swimsuit competition, our top 15 semi-finalists. Ladies and gentlemen, these young women have already worked so hard. So as they line up, let's really hear it for your favorite contestants. Let them know. Let them know. One more time, your top 15, Texas. North Dakota, Indiana, Minnesota, Colorado, West Virginia, South Carolina, Kansas, Georgia, Maryland, Pennsylvania, 
California, Missouri, Maine, and New Jersey. One more time for all of our semi-finalists. So now while the judges are tallying their votes, we have a very special guest that we would like to bring up on stage. Very special. Please give a warm welcome to Miss USA 2011, Alyssa Campanella. Isn't she gorgeous? Isn't she amazing? I'll come over to you. I'll come over to you. I was just giving you your moment. I was just letting you have it. We bonded at, at prelims over our love of the Vancouver Canucks. Don't say a word. I don't want to hear it. I'd go Canucks, go. <laughs> and you, did you bring your Burroughs jersey with you again? I know. Actually, I brought my Kessler jersey with me. Kessler. Yes. I know. Stop. Give us a moment. Will you? It's all we have. After that, it was terrible. For those of you who don't know, on the night of the prelims, it was Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Finals, and we were focused, but we were crushed. You told, you told me that if I found out what happened with that game, that you, I wasn't allowed to tell you, even though I wanted to so bad. I knew what happened. Don't say anything. So, a month now, as Miss USA, how do you feel? I feel great. I mean, it's been a whirlwind. I mean, I flew to New York City the day after I won, and it's just been amazing. I've already met so many incredible people that I never expected to meet. After I won, they asked me, so who's the first person you'd like to meet now that you're Miss USA? And I said, Buddy Velastro of Cake Boss, and what happened three days later? It, and he gave me a cake. Of all the people, that's crazy. And what people may not know, you competed in this very pageant in 2007, first runner-up, still good first runner. She got, she got the big prize later on. That's okay. What right now, you've got the top 15 backstage. They've just gone through swimsuit. They're getting ready for evening gown. What's going through their heads? You know what? I'm pretty sure a lot of them, their minds are blank. Except I hope what's going through their head is chore choreography so they don't trip in evening gown like I did. <laughs> But uh, they're probably really, you know, they're probably nervous. I was nervous to myself. I mean, it's a big honor. You know, you're winning. You're going to win Miss Teen USA. Only one girl's going to win, and you want it to be you. I was shocked, too, that they put you on a, on a serious movie tour, and I'm, I'm going to use the cards for this one. I usually don't use the cards. But um, tell us about the Star Wars pop quiz. Yes, thank you, Access Hollywood, for that. I was, sit, I was doing a satellite interview with Access Hollywood in L.A. when I was in New York. So they sat me down in the chair, and then they said, okay, you're going to be doing a pop quiz for Star Wars. All right, we're on in five, four. I'm like, what? 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 Okay. <laughs> so it was, it was, I mean, I got five for five, so I did pretty good, but I wasn't expecting that at all. <laughs> That's good. That's crazy. So it's been a lot of fun. Best of luck. And now you're getting ready for Sao Paulo, Brazil, and Miss Universe. Where are you? I mean, is there a, a wind down? Do you crank up the workouts and dial down the diet? Where are you at in that, in that thing right now? Well, as Miss USA, one of the, our great, um, one of the great uh, things about being Miss USA is we get to work out at Gravity Fitness. So I'm like, I swear by Pilates. So I'm going to keep working at Pilates. I'm going to learn some Portuguese so I can speak the native language and just keep strutting my stuff. She's the goods, isn't she? She's great. <laughs> Miss USA 2011. Best of luck at Miss Universe. Alyssa Campanella. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'd now like to introduce another extremely special guest who happens to be our musical performance for the evening. She's won the prestigious Kentucky and Indiana Idol competition and recently represented the state of Kentucky in the 2011 Miss USA pageant. Performing Better Be Ready, Kia Hampton. Tell you something because what I, I have in store is more than what you think. So don't brush, don't brush it out. Just like it's nothing. I want you to myself, and there needs nobody else to tell me what you're gonna do cause I hope you're ready cause I hope you're ready cause I hope you're ready oh I hope you're ready for this cause you know that I am the hopefully you can handle this 
I'm ready for it. I'll be ready for it. Yeah, yeah. I'll be ready, oh, ready for this. Cause you know. so much thank you thank y'all one more round of applause for the talented kia hampton thank you wow. kia keep it going kia hampton wow that girl can sing and she's gorgeous yes, no wonder she, she was a former miss kentucky she is 
Speaking of gorgeous, our next guest was named one of People in Espanol's 50 Most Beautiful People. Please put your hands together for Miss Universe 2011, Jimena Navarrete. Let's get over in this. Let's get over in the center. Come on, let's go over in the center, where everybody can see you. Oh, you want me? To, she just whispered to me. She said, "Practice my name, Jimena Navarrete." And the other one, Rosette. Rosette. Rosette, like with. Rosette. <laughs> well, you want to fight? I'll get. Well, we're right now, we got. We got stuff to do though. First, I still have to. You know, I thought I thought Allie did it well though. Yeah. I thought Allie well. did well. She did well. So, Miss Universe, and that's nearly coming to an end. How's your year been? It's been amazing, my year, traveling around the world, meeting new people, and working with Miss Universe organization. They are my family now, and one of the things that I'm going to miss the most is Miss Universe organization. They are my family now. You know that, Paula. <laughs> Yeah, they're good people. And I noticed you've already bonded with Alyssa. Now, are, now is Miss Mexico going to be upset with you? Because, I mean, you guys are, are trading secrets and everything over here. So, I, I mean, is there, is there a code, I mean, or anything like that? No, no, no. Um, Alyssa is great. Karin from Mexico is great. So both are going to be a great contestant this year. It's going to be a tough decision. It's going to be difficult. Always is. But, I mean, just one is going to win. So you just have to be relaxed, go with the flow. And you've been traveling, you live in New York now, obviously we saw the video earlier, and then you've been traveling the world raising awareness and raising money for HIV AIDS. Tell us about that. Yeah, my main cause as Miss Universe is work with people living with HIV. It's uh, a great opportunity for me. Uh, I can help. I have the opportunity to speak with people. I have the voice. So it's been a great, great, great experience. Well, enjoy the rest. Yes, bravo. Give her a big round of applause for that. Outstanding. Well, enjoy your time this weekend in Atlantis, and we'll see you in Sao Paulo, Brazil. My name again? Jimena Navarrete. What was the rest of it? Rosete. Rosete. You know, Chet, sharing a stage with Miss USA and Miss Universe would make a lot of men nervous up here. Standing here next to you makes me a little nervous <laughs> at times. Too. Doesn't she look great in that oh, dress? Shane. Oh, come on, we're friends. Thank you. I can see. Thank, no, you, thank, you, I didn't, thank you, you look handsome yourself, I didn't buddy. mean it, I didn't mean it nervous like we were gonna fight or anything. No, I mean, seriously, look at her. <laughs> he asked my mom earlier, he said, is it okay if I hit on your daughter? And he said, no, literally, throw some bows up here. She's yeah. like, ah, oh, if she She's deserves like, it. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. No hitting, you have to be nice. Well, yeah. gather yourself now because we're moments away from the evening gown competition. But before we get to that, we'd like to thank a group of extremely important individuals who have shown so much support for the Miss Universe organization and the Miss Teen USA pageant. Without the generosity of these following people, this production would not have been possible. I have to tell you, he's the guy responsible for this place, and it just keeps getting better every year that we come back. He is the chairman and CEO of Kersner International, Sir Saul Kersner. And we would also like to thank the President and Managing Director of Atlantis Paradise Island, Mr. George Marcantonis. And also, if you would, please give a round of applause for the entire conference services and special event staffs here at Atlantis. I have a great story. No, go ahead. Please give them a big round of applause. Story time? 25 minutes before showtime, I realized I did not have my cufflinks. Amateur. Stanley, our driver, went back to the cove, retrieved the cufflinks, and made it back here literally as the girls were walking out on stage. I'm shoving cufflinks into my, into my sleeves. Yeah. That's how they go above and beyond here at Atlantis, and thank you. Couldn't do it without you. Really great And of stuff. course, we're going to need a big thunderous applause for the president of Miss Universe and fellow Ohio University Bobcat alumni, Paula Shugart, everybody. No, stand up and take a bow. Stand up and... Oh, don't you give stand me up, that Paula. look. She loves it. Oh, we love us some Paula Shugart. I you look beautiful, time. Paula. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to see some dresses. What do you think? Yeah, now it is time to see just how elegant and glamorous our contestants can be. So, 
Let's bring out all 51 of our teams. contestants looking dashing in their evening gowns. Great job ladies. How about another big hand for all 51 of our contestants? Fantastic. And now let's take a closer look at each of our semi-finalists and start to figure out which of our top 15 would make the perfect Miss Teen USA 2011. But one very important note before we start, the judges will not only be judging the gown itself, but instead the poise, the grace, and the confidence that these amazing 15 semi-finalists We went over this last night, too, because you guys know how you are in the audience. Just like, a friendly I reminder. I don't like her dress. <laughs> but, uh, they're not worried about that. We will begin our evening gown competition with Texas. Dakota. Minnesota. Oh. 
Colorado. West Virginia. South Carolina. Kansas! Georgia. Maryland. Pennsylvania! California! Missouri. Maine.
New Jersey. Welcome to our semi-finalists back onto the stage one last time. Who's going to be the man next Miss Teen USA? Who is the next Miss Teen USA? Who is the next Miss Teen USA? There they are, the top 15 in the evening gown competition. Nice job, ladies. Oh, don't stop now. Don't stop now. Show them your love. I have no idea how the judges are going to do it. I have no idea. Tough to pick a winner out of that group. Now, you, you've been in the judging seat. I oh. haven't, and I'm not mad about it because so I don't much know how happier. I would make a decision. So much happier being up here with you. So much happier. It's tough. Once again, who's the next Miss Teen USA? I like this energy in here. I like it. Well, because it's such a tough decision, we're going to give our judges a little bit of time and take a 15-minute intermission. And while the judges are deliberating, please enjoy some of the highlights of Cammie Crawford's video blog over the past year. When we come back, our judges are going to reveal their top five. You do not want to miss that. If you're watching at home on MissTeenUSA.com or 17.com, we're going backstage to do interviews. We'll see you right back here in 15 minutes. everybody it's 2011 action hi everybody so a lot has changed since my last video blog let's talk serious for a moment this is very very serious business here this is serious I'm sitting on the train and you guys know I have really bad train experiences next thing I know the guy loosens up his hood and pulls an albino red-eyed rat out of his hood. He drinks it. <laughs> he drinks after the rat. I almost had a heart attack and died on the train. I feel like there's something between us. <laughs> this rat gets let loose on this train. Somebody, somebody is going to have an issue with Miss Team USA today. <laughs> well, Rima, there's definitely hail outside. I don't know what we're going to do. I'm thinking to myself, this couldn't be what I think. I did not just rip my pants on the train. Hey, guys. What's up? Nothing much. Hi, Polly. This is Cami Crawford, Miss Team USA. Oh, hi. Hi. Uh, how are you? You know, the lesson I learned is I need to take cabs more often. That's how you work it in NYC. <laughs> we all love you, Cammie. And I love you. It's been you. a pleasure. Thanks. Hi. <laughs> Cut. And print. 
Welcome backstage to Miss Teen USA. We're here with the top 15, starting with Texas. Hi, Danielle. Hi. Well, so you made a top 15. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Texas has a long history of churning out beauty pageant champions, but it's been a little while. You're planning to change that tonight, aren't you? I am. We've only had one Texas Teen win Miss Teen USA, so I'm ready to change it up. Well, I know that you have things that you need to do before we get back out there on stage. Go get them. Thank you. She's great. North Dakota. Hey, Audra, how are you? I'm good. How are you? A three-sport athlete. What do you play? Hockey, soccer, and volleyball. Hockey? Yep. Are you excited for the Women's World Cup tomorrow? Yes, I'm very excited. I just quit this year, but I played for 11 years, so. Had so you were a four-sport athlete? Yes. And now potentially Miss Teen USA on top of it? Yep. <laughs> You're a busy girl and honor roll student, too. Go get them. We'll see you back you out so there. Thank you so much. That's great. N next up is Indiana. Hi, Jessica. Hello, Chet. So you come, I'm guessing you come from a small town. It says Church Youth Group, 4-H Club, and the whole nine. Yes, I do. I come from Bedford, Indiana. That's outstanding. And now, who would you like to say? Are there people watching at home? Yes, there is. There's my best friend, Eliza. All of my family uh, in Denmark, even. They're watching from Denmark in the middle of the night. Thank you so much. Talk about say it again. Uh, what? Uh, who? What? <laughs> said, Thank you for watching again. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> we'll go get them. Congratulations on Top 15. We'll see you. Thank you. Minnesota. Hey, Hannah. Yes, how are you? We were practicing earlier, and we do, we already did this. I know. The dress is fantastic. Thank you very much. How does it feel so far? If I could describe it, it'd probably be something like. Ah. Top top five coming up. How do you feel? Good. I'm feeling really good. I'm just going out natural, being myself, doing what I can. If not you, have you looked at some of the other girls and said, well, if not me. Oh, oh, I wouldn't put you on the spot like that. It's a terrible thing to do. They're all they're all champions. They're all winners. Everyone. Yes, definitely. Everyone is a winner. That's my buddy. Thank you, Hannah. We'll see you. Good luck. Colorado, how are you? I'm fantastic. This is so exciting. Isn't it fun? It's so fun. When I got called, I just like didn't even know what to do. It's, it's so shocking. Make-A-Wish Foundation is your charity? Yes, sir. How'd you get involved? Um, well, I was actually in a vocal and dance group called On Stage Productions. And one of the girls um, ended up getting really sick and went through the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And so I just saw how it changed her and her family's life. So then um, at my school, in my student council, we created a Wish Week. Um, and we have a whole week of events. And in the past two years, we've raised over $55,000 for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Congratulations on Top 15. We'll see you back out there. Great stuff. South Carolina. Hi, Susan. Hi, how are you? Are you having fun? We're doing great. I am doing great. I'm, I don't think there's a word to describe how I'm feeling right now. Uh, exuberant, nervous, excited. Are you are you more nervous or are you more excited? More excited, more surprised, like more happy, more every good word in the dictionary. <laughs> and then if you make top five, you ready for the judges questions and all that stuff? Oh my God, I don't know if I'll make top five, but hopefully, and yes, I will be ready. I, know, I think you got a pretty good shot at it. Thank you. Congratulations on top 50. Thank you so much. We'll see you. Thanks. South Carolina. Wow. Hi, Keila. Oh no, you're West Virginia. They went out of order on me. Oh no, you're Susan. I don't know what happened. South Carolina, well, I don't know. That was Keila. They changed them all around me. So let me look at this really quick. So Susan, you so you do play soccer. I do. I'm a right midfielder, so I do a lot of running. How do you love this Women's World Cup run that's going on right now? Oh, I haven't had that much time to watch it, but I have been getting updates on my phone. I'm a, I'm a true follower to USA. Have you made plans to watch tomorrow? I have, actually. I'm planning to watch them. Are you flying out tomorrow? No, I'm actually spending another day in Atlanta so I can kind of enjoy the resort. Nice. So you can relax and watch the game. Congratulations on top 15, and we'll see you back out there in a couple of minutes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, now we got everybody back in order. Hi, Taylor. How are you? I'm good. Good. We were, t we were trying to find words to describe how you feel right now. Are you more nervous or are you excited? I am so excited. I'm just really happy that I'm to this point here. So I'm just, I'm ready for everything. I'm, I'm excited. Do the judges' questions scare you at all? Because that's tripped up a number of contestants in the past. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confident for where I am, so I, I don't think I'll be tripped up by them. Yeah. The hard part's already done. Yeah, it's all done. <laughs> it's all downhill from here. <laughs> Congratulations on top 15. We'll see you back out there in a couple of minutes. Awesome. Hi, Georgia. Hello. We practiced with you earlier today, too. Yes, we did. So you were playing the role out there because the, you we were talking about it earlier that you, this is kind of easy for you because you're an actress. Oh, yes. I love theater and I love being on stage. If, um, what's it, well, after this is all done, what's the first thing you're going to eat later on tonight? Okay, a New York cheesecake with strawberry icing. 
Is it already waiting in the room? No, I have to go get it. <laughs> Hopefully we get out of here in time. We better rush this along. Congratulations on Top 15. We'll see you out there. Thank you so much. Good stuff. Come on, Maryland. Kirsten, how are you? Hi, I'm great. Just made Top 15, so on cloud nine. <laughs> Do you know, is, has there ever been, I don't think there's ever been back-to-back -back Miss Teen USA. I don't think so, but there's a first time for everything, so we shall see. Absolutely, and you competed with Cami last year at State. I did. I was actually her first runner-up, so it's been very exciting to follow her and follow her year and get to know her, so it's very cool. And she's been really good about giving out advice. She's been really good about that. What's the best piece of advice that she may have given you? Absolutely. She always just tells me to be myself and be carefree, not to worry too much, because I tend to do that, so that she's been a lot of help to me. I'm telling you right now, she is cool as the other side of the pillow. Are you, are you, no, you, you look relaxed and happy. Are, are you churning inside? Yes, I am. Trying very hard to stay calm. <laughs> All right, we'll go find a Wusa and just relax. We'll see you out there. Congratulations on Top 15. Thank you so much. I've been calling her back to back. Her nickname is back to back. I've been calling her that this, uh, this entire week. Come on, Madison. How are you? <laughs> Watch out for the cord over there. <laughs> Yeah. Has there been almost any potential mishaps out on stage? Not really, no. I think I did pretty good. I saw somebody come off stage and they got their dress stepped on, but I don't think it... Was that you? I thought, okay, for a minute there I was thinking, well, I think that was Madison. How, cl how close were you? Well, yeah, and at that point you're not being judged. You guys, you guys are just trying to get off stage and there was a little backup, you know, trying to get off. And there you go. <laughs> yeah. It's fun though so far, yeah? Yes, I'm having so much fun. Congratulations on Top 15. Thank you so much. You're making Pennsylvania proud. All right, we'll see you. Thank you. California. Hello. You're a long way from home, girl, and it sounds like you got a lot of people here with you. Yes, I do. I have about 20 family members here right now, and they're being so supportive, and I love them so much. They're making a lot of noise. They are. I'm so happy. Who else is back home that you'd like to say hi to? Um, my best friends, Caroline and Michaela. Um, everybody else from school, and I'm gonna cry. Oh my gosh! Oh. What part of California are you from again? San Diego. Oh, good. So you're not having to worry about Carmageddon, the 405 shutdown in LA, and that's all anybody's talking oh, I'm about. Glad I'm gone this weekend, not having to travel to LA. But. Congratulations on top 15. We'll see you back out there. Thanks. So much. Thanks. Hey, Missouri, Sydney. I she. It's great. Sydney with two E's. I love that name. Yes. Thank you. Tell us about the volunteering work that you've been doing. Well, I get to work with an organization called REACHITE, which is the Research Center for Human-Animal Interaction at the University of Missouri-Columbia. And I work with animals there, many of their charitable organizations. And then I've also been visiting children in hospitals as well as um, veterans in veteran hospitals. Everybody's so great. This is a good girl right here. Thank you so much. Congratulations on Top 15. Thank you. All right, we'll see you. Come on, Alexis. Miss Maine, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Shocked, surprised, excited. Um, so many emotions. I am extremely, extremely excited. For me, this is my first time ever competing in a pageant, so beyond belief, emotional rush up but now like a roller coaster. You guys have pulled the uh, the double-double at Miss USA. Maine made it all the way to top five, didn't she? Uh, she made it to top eight. She was top eight, yeah. But I'm going to make it to top five and take home the crown, hopefully for Maine. That's the game plan. We'll find out in just a few minutes. We will. Thank you. Thanks so much. Congratulations on top 15. That's great. Savannah, come here, you. Hey, New Jersey. How you doing? I'm not going to lie. You were standing there, and I, you know, I had the list of top 15. I know. You were looking at me, and I was dying. I was called last, and I think I needed a bear because I had a heart attack. I'm and I knew you were last. I knew you were last, so I'm sorry for torturing you. That's but but I told I told Allie, I told Allie, I said, I got her, because I just turned and looked right at you at the end. New Jersey! And your reaction was priceless. I know. I did the, um, Montana told me I did the triple shake. Yeah. <laughs> that was, oh! <laughs> Great stuff. And a huge cheering section for you here tonight. Yeah, it really gives me so much more confidence knowing that all of my friends and family, literally all of my friends and family are out there cheering for me. So Great stuff. Congratulations on Top 15. We'll see you out there. Look who is here. Miss USA 2011, Alyssa Campanella, my fellow Canucks fan. I haven't spoken to you in so long. I try to hit you on Twitter. You're too busy for me now. I try to hit you on Twitter, and you know, I'm, it's like every third message you'll reply to. I'm used to. I'm used to it with girls. No, I'm used to that. I'm. I'm I totally respond to all your messages. So 
we, I asked you out on stage, um, you know, now it's, it's training and dieting and working out and doing all that. What are the other preparations that you have to keep in mind getting ready for Miss Universe? Wait a second. Hold on. Who said anything about dieting? No. No. I <laughs> How do you get away with that? I dieted. Okay, I've got 73 layers of clothes on. I dieted. You didn't diet? It's called Pilates. I'm sorry, I swear by that. It's really, well, because I'm a model, so with Pilates, it, make, it helps make your muscles like long and lean and sexy, so that's what I do. I have every intention of you and I being friends for a really, really long time, but <laughs> I don't think I like you very much right now after hearing that. Canucks, Canucks. Go Canucks go. Go Canucks, go. go Canucks, go. Go Canucks, go. Go uh, Canucks, go. You're the greatest. Best of luck if I don't talk to you. Best of luck at Miss Universe. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Do you know anything in Portuguese yet? Not yet, but I did download several apps on my iPad to start learning. So I've got flashcards on my iPad so I can start studying. You're the greatest. I don't root, but I was so happy when you won Miss USA. We'll see you. Alyssa Campanella, Miss USA 2011. Here is Miss Universe 2010. Jimena Navarrete. What was the last one? Rosete. Rosete. Well, I forget. I forget that. I've never seen it in in you know in print and I'm all. I'm an expert. Like you, you can say my name perfectly fine. I'm pr I'm not too bad. <laughs> I'm I'm not too bad. So it's just been an amazing year, and you've and you've gotten to travel. We talked about you going around the world um, for HIV AIDS awareness. What what has been the highlight? What's the what's your favorite place that you've been that you'll never forget? Oh, that's a tough question because I've been in so many places and all of them are like just unique and beautiful but I like France I like Puerto Rico of course my favorite one is Mexico sure. my country of course sure. but um, what can I say it's a it's the best experience in my life and also I'm going to miss so much Kami she is my sister I love her she's great and she's the best Miss Teen USA ever she loves you too yeah we love each other and Rima Rima too she's She's Miss USA. She's my Miss USA, and I miss. I miss. Where is Rima? Where is Rima? I don't know. Oh, uh, Rima, if you're watching, we miss you. We love you. She should be here right now because we miss her a lot. What's happening for you after September? You give the you know somebody else's Miss Universe. What happens to you? Yes, I'm going back to Mexico, um, and I'm going to be working in my beautiful country with my people. I'm coming back with my family. I miss them a lot. I miss my family my dad, my mom, and my sister, and I'm very happy to, to end this year with a smile in my face. You're so wonderful. Thank you so much. We'll see you. Jimena Navarrete. Rosete. Rosete. I'll remember one of these times. Backstage here at Miss Teen USA, we're going to go back to the stage. Judges top five coming up. We'll see you back on stage in just a minute. Welcome back to Miss Teen USA 2011. Once again, Allie LaForce and Chet Buchanan. Come back once again, ladies and gentlemen, to Miss Teen USA 2011. Are you having a good time? You guys still having a good time? You having a good time? You all right? Everybody looked pretty good. We did interviews backstage during the break. Everybody seemed pretty cool, calm, and collected. Everybody get everything taken care of you needed to get taken care of? You're good. doing a We're phenomenal job, so stay relaxed and be yourself up there, okay? Okay, so you have done this before. Once again, Miss Teen USA 2005, Allie LaForce. Thank you. So you make top 15. Now you're standing there. The hosts really need to get on with it and get to the top five, but they're not. <laughs> the most important part, yeah. Yeah, some goof is up there talking to the girl about what it's like to be, yeah. What's going through your mind right now? Well, I think you have to change so quickly and you're just touching up the hair and the makeup so you don't really have time to think and a lot of the girls have gotten close over the last couple of days so I just remember running backstage and looking at each other and not knowing what to say but feeling that mutual excitement backstage as you're getting ready and just trying to make sure there's no lipstick on the teeth and the hair's all pulled back the way you want it to so I don't think thinking really even occurs until you actually are out here and you have a couple seconds. Yeah, like I said, backstage, everybody was having a good time. It, yeah. it went pretty well. So uh, what do you say we get to it, huh? Let's go with the top five. Let's go. Todd Goldhammer, could you give us the results for the top five, please? Todd Goldhammer, everybody. Thank you, buddy. Don't try to look. Don't try to peek. Who's going to be in the top five? We can make room for you. <laughs> All right, there's no turning back now. The judges have cast their votes. 
Chet, will you please go on with the presentation? Let's get to it. You ready? All right. Up next. Here are the results now in random order. Allie, will you start, please? Yes. First up, Kansas. <laughs> Moving into the top five, make some noise for California! Now it's time for Missouri! Congratulations and welcome to the top five. North Dakota! And finally, Texas! Here they are, your Miss Teen USA 2011 Top 5! Okay, everybody, now, before we really turn up the pressure, we're going to take a little bit of time to ask a personal question to each contestant. That's why it's not so nerve-wracking. You get to know them a little bit better. So check sure. whenever you're ready. We'll get them ready. We'll soften them up a little for the judges here in a couple of seconds. <laughs> okay. It'll be good. Let's start with Kansas. <laughs> Congratulations and welcome to the top five. Thank you very much. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go and why would you go there? I would definitely travel to Italy. My grandpa was from Italy and sadly he passed away when I was younger, but he was my best friend and I would love to be able to take my family to Italy so we could see what his culture was like. Great job. Kansas! Next up, California. Hi. Hello there. If you were handed a million dollars, if it was right there instead of judges' names in that, whatever this is. If you were handed one million dollars, what would you splurge on? I wouldn't splurge on anything. I would definitely buy something special for my grandmother. She sponsored my whole family to come with me to the Bahamas. There's 20 of us back there. Hey, you guys. Um, she actually, we were in Vegas this past spring break, and she hit a jackpot of a quarter of a million dollars. So she got to bring the whole entire family here to the Bahamas. So thank you, Grandma. I love you so much. Wow, great job. California. Come on over here, Missouri. Top five. <laughs> yeah. If you could meet one celebrity, who would it be and why? If I could meet one celebrity, it would definitely be Jimmy Fallon because I have an obnoxious crush on him because he's not only hilarious, but I find him absolutely adorable. I saw Cammy with pictures of Jimmy Fallon as well, so maybe you'll get your chance. Congratulations, Missouri. Hi, North Dakota. How are you? Good, how are you? Feeling pretty good. I'm probably not as nervous as you are right now, but feeling pretty good. <laughs> what would be your dream job? My dream job would be a Victoria's Secret model. The girls' bodies are fit and healthy, and they all look great on stage and have a lot of confidence. Fun stuff. North Dakota. Look at this big smile. Come on, Texas. <laughs> So, tell me, take it easy, we're asking a question over here. Who is somebody that you admire and why? Definitely my big sister, Anna Rodriguez, Miss Texas. I would not be standing here without all of her help and her guidance, and she always tells me to let go and let God, and with that, I'm standing here, so definitely Anna. 
And is that family over there? Yes, family over there. Family over there. I'm just playing with you. Give it up for Texas. Okay, Chet, now this is my personal favorite part of the competition because if you've been around any of these title holders, you know that this pageant is not only about beauty, but also about your brains as well. So this next part, each finalist will select a judge. The judge will ask a question, and it's as easy as that. What do you think? And away we go. Okay. Come on, Kansas. Choose your fate. Pick your poison. First contestant, first judge, Katherine Schwarzenegger. Hi, you look amazing tonight, by the way. Thank you. Oh, Not you. Oh, sorry. You do too. You look very handsome. <laughs> um, while I was researching for my book, I came across this statistic that 78% of 17-year-old girls are not happy with their body. Why do you think that is? I definitely think that is because there's so many media influences in the world telling girls that they're, they're not good enough or they're not skinny enough. And I think the media and also fa family and friends, they have put a lot of pressure on us to be our best, look our best, and always look a certain way. So I think the influences around us are making us feel that way. Good job. Kansas. California. What's it going to be? Well, they're just taking them right off the top. Nobody's digging yet. Nobody has dug yet. My buddy Fred Nelson. <laughs> hey, California, you ready for this? I'm so ready. Okay. Now, in 2007, uh, Miss Teen USA contestant became an internet sensation based on her response to a question about maps. Okay. Let's try it again. <laughs> Studies have shown that many Americans can't find the U.S. on a map. Why do you think that is? Wow, okay. Um, I believe that in schools these days, in geography, we focus so much on other countries, and I feel we really need to focus on our own country. I feel like I know more about other countries than my own, so I really think we need to start focusing on the United States. Nice job, California. And I'm not saying it. I'm not adding on. There's six or eight lines right here. I'm just going to leave it at that. Come on, Missouri. Right off the top again. Nobody's digging. Michelle Wiltshire. Hi, Missouri. You look beautiful. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Um, Sexting um, or texting inappropriate photographs um, is becoming a very big problem in society today, particularly amongst teens. Why do you think people are doing this? I think when the technology craze hit America, we weren't exactly sure how to approach it. And I don't think that we necessarily educated enough. So I think that now we need to take a step back, educate our youth on what is appropriate and what is not appropriate, and then we can move forward from there and hopefully the sexting craze will come to a close. Nice job, Missouri. What you gonna pick, North Dakota? She dug to the bottom, that makes me happy. Mr. B. J. Coleman. Testing. <laughs> Thank you for choosing me, number one. Um, first of all. Uh, my question is, uh, suicide is the third leading cause of death amongst teens today. And um, as you know, bullying affects thousands of teens daily. It prevents them from going to school and uh, it has affected the rate of suicide among teens. What do you think that we can do um, to stop this? Um, I was a victim of bullying my sophomore year of high school, and I think that people need to um, tell their parents and tell trusted adults at school and let people know because it is a big problem. And um, 
with making committees um, with school boards like my mom did. She's an elementary school teacher, so she helped with that too. And just educate girls and know that it's not okay, you know, to call someone a name this day and call someone another name that day because some people can't handle the pressure. North Dakota. There's still a couple left in here, Texas. You got to pick one of them. Dr. Cheryl Karcher. Hi, congratulations on being one of the top five. Thank you very much. Do you think it's appropriate for teenagers to get plastic surgery? Why or why not? I definitely think it depends on the situation. You know, you don't know what your body's gonna look like in 15, 20 years, so right off the bat, I don't think you should. Now, if it's a personal choice, your mom agrees, your dad agrees, and you come to a conclusion and you want it, then sure, I just think it depends on the situation. Texas. They all did a great job, didn't they? Didn't they all do a great job? Good stuff. No matter what happens, all of tonight's contestants will walk away with incredible memories and lifelong friendships, but only one of these five final... Oh, you're discussing amongst yourselves, aren't you? You're choosing right now, aren't you? Well, they're choosing and you're choosing. I like that. So who's it going to be? Who's going to be our next Miss Teen at USA? Will it be Kansas? Will it be Kansas? Will it be California? Will it be Missouri? Will it be North Dakota? Or will the next Miss Teen USA be from Texas? So let me ask you one more time, who's going to be the next Miss Teen USA? Who's going to be the next Miss Teen USA? Let me hear you. Is it Kansas? Is it California? Is it Missouri? Is it North Dakota? Is it Texas? Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for your top five. Thank you, ladies. What an incredible group of young women. Tonight's winner will begin her year as Miss Teen USA 2011, wearing a crown from Diamond Nexus Labs, the official jewelry of Miss Teen USA. But that's not all. She'll also receive a swimwear wardrobe excuse me, from Kui Australia, a year's worth of hair care products and tools from Farouk Systems, an evening wear wardrobe by Sherry Hill, a two-year scholarship from the New York Film Academy, in New York City, a year's worth of cosmetics from Pursuit of the Crown Cosmetics, a six-day, five-night vacation in case they didn't get enough in Atlantis at the Cove Resort, Paradise Island for two, including airfare. We do love the Cove. We love the we Cove. Love the Cove. Thank I you don't again. ever want to leave. Sir Saul, thank you again. We love the Cove. <laughs> and a year-long dermatology and skincare services provided by one of tonight's judges, Dr. Cheryl Thelman-Karcher.
Now, before we find out who's going to win that amazing prize package, let's bring all 51 of our contestants back to the stage. We have some very special awards to hand out. Come on, ladies. All right, first up, it's Miss Congeniality behind the scenes at Miss Teen USA. There is usually one girl who stands out for being friendly, funny, and easy to talk to. All the girls got together and voted for the winner. So, Allie, who did they pick? Miss Congeniality goes to New Jersey. Congratulations, Miss Congeniality, New Jersey. All right, next up, the People's Choice Miss Photogenic Teen USA Award. In addition to a crystal trophy, this year's winner will walk the red carpet at the People's Choices Award. It's exciting. We counted your votes. And the winner is Hawaii. Congratulations to Hawaii. And as long as we've got everybody here, let's give all 51 of our contestants tonight another round of applause. Weren't they great? A big round of applause for all of our contestants. We'll know the winner soon, and there is nothing like that feeling of getting the crown placed on top of your head. Well, I think I'm going to have to take your word for that. <laughs> I would imagine. I mean, I tried. You could do a plastic crown well, for you. Well, three times I tried, but I never made it out of state competition. That was it. I couldn't get here to Miss Teen Poor USA. Guy. But 2018s, including yourself, have been crowned before. Let's see what that was like. Now, I'm going to read the name of the first runner-up, and then the name of Miss Teen USA. The first runner-up is Miss Virginia. Miss Teen USA is Miss New York, Ruth Zakarian. It was pretty funny. We were playing Can You Spot Allie in the video. We were playing he that. He failed I know miserably. There's a, there's a group of folks right down there in the uh, third <laughs> row that they figured it out right away. Allie's parents are right down here. Her whole family's down there. <laughs> so that's fun. Yeah. Very fun. Yes. So before we crown Miss Teen USA 2011, we'd like to invite Cammie Crawford back to the stage to take her final walk as Miss Teen USA 2010. I'm humbled by all I've experienced in the past year and I will never forget the things I've learned. I want to thank the following people for making my year as Miss Teen USA so special. To my family, Mom, Dad, Victoria, Carrington, Kennedy, Kendall, and Grandma, thank you for your constant encouragement. To the Miss Universe organization, especially Paula and Mr. Trump, thank you for this life-changing opportunity. 
to mis hermanas, Rima and Jimena, I love you both. To the incredible charitable alliances I've worked alongside, Best Buddies, Girl Talk, Project Sunshine, Dare, and Same Sky, I will continue to support you. To the new Miss Teen USA, welcome to the sisterhood. My year has been one of growth and I will never forget the way it has changed my life forever. Love, Cammie. Miss Teen USA 2010, Cammie Crawford. Cammy, thank you for making us so proud and thank you for wearing that crown so well. Another big round of applause for Cammy Crawford. A very, very well-deserved standing ovation. It's been a pleasure getting to know you the last couple of days, Cammy. You've done a great job. Thank you for everything you've done. All right, now it's time to welcome back our top five to the stage. One of these young ladies' lives is about to change forever. She'll be in the spotlight, flown to New York, where she'll start a year full of endless adventure and opportunity. If you think that you have what it takes to join this illustrious group of winners and become the next Miss Teen USA, and you are between the ages of 14 and 19, log on to MissTeenUSA.com to find out more. And while you're there at the website, make sure to pre-order a DVD from tonight's show. I'd also like to take this time to give a big thank you to our wonderful judges. I know it's hard work over there. Great job, judges. Let's give them a round of applause one more time. Also, everyone at Atlantis here in the Bahamas, and of course, thank you to our incredible musical guest, Kia Hampton. And once again, Cammie Crawford for all of the wonderful work that you've done this past year. Look at that. He's standing there. He's ready to go. <laughs> Tall Goldhammer, are you ready with the results? Are you guys ready? Let's find out who the next Miss Teen USA is going to be. It's right here. You are a lucky right man right here. now. Right soaking here. it up. Just soaking it up. <sighs> here are the official results. Signed off by the world famous Tall Goldhammer of the accounting firm Ernst & Young. Ladies and gentlemen, one of these five spectacular women will be crowned Miss Teen USA 2011. The fourth runner-up for Miss Teen USA 2011 is Missouri. The third runner-up, Kansas. Second runner-up, California. Okay, everyone, this is it with the final two. Please step forward. <laughs> North Dakota and Texas. If for any reason the new Miss Teen USA cannot fulfill her duties, the first runner-up will take over. Good luck, ladies. Congratulations to both of you. Take a moment to breathe. We don't need anybody to pass out before their first walk. We don't need that. The winner of the 2011 Miss Teen USA competition is coming up right after. No, this is not American Idol, and I'm not Seacrest. The new Miss Teen USA is Texas. your first walk as Miss Teen USA 2011.
Miss Teen USA 2011 is from Texas. What an amazing night. Ladies and gentlemen, could I get a big round of applause for my gorgeous co-host, Allie LaForce. She was great tonight. Thank you, Allie. Thank you, Chet. You are great as well. Thank you to New Tech and Ustream for bringing us live to the world. And thank you, everybody here at Atlantis in the Bahamas for being such a great crowd. Remember, watch Miss Universe on NBC September 12th, live from Sao Paulo, Brazil. And for those of you watching at home, right here on MissTeenUSA.com or 17.com, get ready. I'm going to go dive in the middle of that crowd and we'll see if we can interview Danielle, the new Miss Teen USA. For Ali LaForce, my name is Chet Buchanan. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Good night from the Bahamas. We're trying to make our way over to Danielle Doty, who's the uh, the new Miss Teen USA. Ah! <laughs> I can't breathe right now, oh my gosh. Big deep breath. <sighs> we were talking backstage. When was the last time that somebody from Texas won one of these things? Forever ago, but now it's here, I got it. You're wearing the crown. Oh my gosh, I don't even feel it on my head. <sighs> How does it feel? Amazing, I cannot believe this, it's a dream come true. Who was the first person you thought of when we said your name? I looked right at my big sister, Anna, because she's been here through it all, and then my family, I saw all of them, and my friend. I could not be here without any of them, oh my gosh. Well, I'll just tell you, we picked a good one. We picked a good one. The new Miss Teen USA is from Texas. Congratulations! Thank you! <laughs> Hope you enjoyed watching it. I thanks so much for tuning in, and make sure, once again, September 12th, Sao Paulo, Brazil, Miss Universe. Good night from the Bahamas.